actually I never have this issue when I sit down to make a video. 99 times out of 100, I hit it on the first lick. And this is the third time I've tried to make this video. And the reason why this is the third time is because uh, I'm having a hard time being diplomatic in making this video. This video is about Paul C. Buff. Um, the word diplomatic is just uh, connotatively means being a, a liar. When you have a lot of uh, people that are subscribed to you, uh, and watch you, you have to be a diplomat, and you have to sweet talk everything. And I'm not like that, I'm, I'm rather brutal. You know, cut to the chase, let's be honest. You know, even I can look in the mirror and be brutally honest, like fat, bold, and ugly. You got a, a voice and a personality that is kind of like a cheese grater. I know that. I'm extremely intelligent. Yes, I am. Um... The third try for this video, and this video is about Paul C. Buff, is another YouTube channel made, and I've chosen this word specifically, dishonest video about Paul C. Buff. I'm not affiliated with Paul C. Buff at all. Uh, I put my money where my mouth is. I've got eight Paul C. Buff uh, strobes. Four, four of them are Einsteins, two ABR 800s, Digibee, yada yada, tons of light mods, Paul C. Buff. While they are a small company based in Tennessee, they are growing exponentially. Not only that, they've got a new website. They've got tons of new YouTube videos showing you how to use their stuff. And uh, I don't like the dishonest video that was made against Paul C. Buff. Because, you know, if a company does something that's stinky, I'll be the first one to, to say, you know, really? You know, you know I will say that. Paul C. Buff is an incredible company, and I am... Unhappy is an understatement from what another YouTube channel did, which uh, I don't want to get into specifics because I know a lot of stuff. I, I know a lot of stuff I would like to tell you, but I don't want to get specific. Suffice to say that the video against Paul C. Buff was dishonest. First off, the video stated, incorrectly I might add, oh, there have been chatter and us talking that since Paul C. Buff, the... The founder has died that the company is faltering. You know, it's kind of like on shaky ground. I don't know what, ad, what sort of ad hoc hyperbolic nonsense is that? I've seen more come out of Paul C. Buff in the past year than I have out of the past five years. I know for a fact they've got products on the burner that, that they're working on uh, that they can't talk about. One product of which I, I do know a little bit something about, but I can't talk about. Paul C. Buff is on the leading edge of innovation. They are, however. People say, well, you know, Paul C. Buff doesn't advertise. They don't put themselves out. Why do they have to? You know the best companies that make the best products out there? They don't advertise. You know why? Because the pros know what the hell it is. You ever seen a commercial for Lamborghini? When's the last time you saw a, a commercial for Porsche or Bentley? When? When's the last time you saw a commercial while watching CNN or Fox or whatever the hell it is you watch for Rolex? These companies don't need to advertise. You see, here's a statement I made ages ago. Trash has to scream. What does that mean? Trash screams because nobody's interested. The only way that trash sells itself is by being a barker on the street. Come you, hear you, see all, see this wonderful pro Trash screams. That's why they have to advertise the hell out of everything, everywhere. All of the stuff... Paul C. Buff does not have to do that. The professionals out there that are using Paul C. Buff, just like Broncolor, there's only one uh, outfit that is producing slightly in some aspects uh, with amazing recycle time. Of course, it's astronomically more expensive as Broncolor, okay, than Paul C. Buff. But Broncolor and Paul C. Buff are two radically different companies. If you want to talk about something that is astronomically more expensive and yet still doesn't have many of the features of most of the Paul C. Buff units, I'm not talking about Broncolor. I know Paul C. Buff does not ship outside of the United States. However, you can get Paul C. Buff outside of the United States. You just have to use a forwarding service. As a company based in the United States, Paul C. Buff A does not sell to retail stores because they are not interested in taking a cut and selling to the retail stores underneath the retail price and having the retail stores take a cut of that. That's their own decision. That is their that is their company to do with as they please. You know what? I don't know, and I've worked in four camera stores, and that's why the other video is dishonest. Uh, they, one of the one things they were uh, uh, trashing Paul C. Buff about is that you can't walk into a camera store and... There are not many camera stores left, for Christ's sakes. You can't walk into a camera store and try out a buff unit. 
Well, who gives a damn? You, you know, you can walk into a camera store and try a camera and a lens, but you don't walk into a camera store. So let's hook up that studio strobe and stick uh, your, uh, your female employee, Lisa, over there. I'm going to do some shit. That doesn't happen. What the hell does Paul C. Buff need to stick their uh, studio strobes into a retail store for? And even if they were there, who the hell is going to test drive a studio strobe in a camera store? Nobody is. I mean, by implication, what, you couldn't order a policy buff and be unhappy and, like, return the unit? Of course, people don't do that because they're so incredible and they're so inexpensive. <sighs> the other comment saying that the owner is dead and, therefore, we we have some scuttlebutt that policy buff is fault. And there's nobody saying that stuff. I would be the first person to hear stuff like that. Just the opposite is happening. Their website is brand new. It just went online like two or three weeks ago. A, a, a new website. Lots and lots of YouTube videos on training and instruction. New products coming out. They just released a new product. They just released an amazing new boom pole that's unlike anything else out there. It weighs a ton. It's in my back room back there. I bought that a few months ago. That's a new product from them. You know... There's also no company out there, including Broncolor, which is astronomically expensive, that if you buy a used, Pulsey Buff might not like me saying this, but this is kind of their unwritten policy, and it's unwritten, but it, they do have some writing on their website if you want to refer to their specific website for the specifics on that, that if you do something stupid, like your dog pisses on your strobe and it's ruined, or you drop it down a, you know, an embankment, you know, and it's ruined or damaged, that you can send it back to Policy Buff way out of warranty, and they will fix the unit for cost and uh, parts and shipping, something to that effect. I've had a lot of people contact me about Policy Buff. like, oh my god, I bought a used unit, an old used unit, and it had something broken on it, shipped it back to Policy Buff. And if it was a little bitty thing, other than paying shipping costs, they did it for free. Now, I can't speak for Paul C. Buff. I'm sure they would not like me making that statement out loud in a video, but, I mean, I've heard that from people, more than more than one person, in addition to the fact that other people have bought dead units, sent in a Paul C. Buff, and let's just say that the repair costs, of course, you're going to have to pay for shipping, obviously. You're not going to pay for shipping. The repair costs were mine uh, numbingly low to the point of absurdity, except the good sort of absurdity. Like, what? It was broken, and ha how much the cost to fix it? Wow. Oh, my God. I don't like the dishonest nonsense that was posted against Paul C. Buff. If a company screws up, I'll be the first person to agree with somebody. Paul C. Buff has done everything other than screw up. They're the best company out there on lighting equipment. We're talking about studio strobes here, okay? Not speed lights. Pulsey Buff is not in competition with Godox and Young Nuo or anybody the hell else on speed lights. Talking about professional studio strobes. Why the hell do they need to advertise? Everybody knows who the hell Buff is and how great their reputation is. Oh, well, they don't have it in camera stores. Well, maybe Pulsey Buff is not interested in cutting deals with camera stores. You know, to, well, you know, everybody that actually sells to a camera store, whether it be camera lens, they sell it you know, whatever percentage below retail, and, uh, you know, they mark it up as retail, and then, of course, the camera store gets a cut of that. If Paul C. Buff doesn't want to do that, that's their business. You don't walk into a camera store and test drive a studio strobe. If you buy a studio strobe and you have an issue with it at home, you call up the company. It's not like there's not a return policy. So Paul C. Buff doesn't sell in retail stores. That's not an argument against them. The argument that, well, me and my friends are kind of worried about Paul C. Buff's future since the owner died. Says who? The company's grown exponentially since uh, his passing. Uh, bless, uh, bless Mr. Buff. The company's not going anywhere but up. Every indication of that shows that. I know for a fact that they've since had to include greater expansion. I won't get into the specifics. They've since had to greatly expand the production capacity to meet demand for their Einstein units and DigiBees specifically. So far as the rest of the units, I have no clue. But I know that for a fact. So that's the way I had to make, this is the third try on making this video because I'm having to be diplomatic and hold my breath. But those statements against Paul C. Buff and the company and the product are dishonest. They, they are, they're just dishonest. And I know the person that made that video 
is uh, not going to be happy with the fact that I'm making this. But it is. It's dishonest. You know? You can't buy... There is an issue with Paul C. Buff, uh, you know, shipping. Now, I can't speak for them, but looking at it from their perspective, since we have issues of power uh, and uh, voltage, that if uh, Paul C. Buff were to ship a unit to France or something like that or another country, I mean, imagine the, the enormous costs and hassle if someone had an issue and they had to return it, you know, back to the company. It's not a big company. I mean, it's not a huge, big company. So this poses, uh, you know, uh, an issue for them. But if you live outside of the country, you could certainly use a forwarding service to have it sent to you. But that's nothing to blame Paul C. Buff so, uh, for. There's a lot of products that are like that, only available in so-and-so country. It's not to say you can't actually purchase it and still get it if you want it. Of course you can. Um, we're talking about studio strobes here, though, not speed lights. And Paul C. Buff does not... I see actually advertising from Buff in uh, various sources, but they're not screaming it from the mountaintops, nor do they have to. The people that actually, you know, have their noses in pro lighting gear, they know exactly who the hell Buff is. They know exactly who the hell their awesome reputation is. And the fact that uh, cost to value and customer service, even... I, t I hate to say this about Broncolor, of course, it's now a subsidiary. It's Broncolor and Hasselblad and some other company you call for tech support. Man, they're... I, I've, oh, Lord. Talk about some... Uh, made me unhappy. Really bad customer service from when I... A couple times I called on a hypersync unit uh, from Broncolor. Paul C. Buff is number one. It's like, well, I can't get it in my country. I, I, I'm sorry about that. You actually can. I know it's a hassle. That's understandable, but that's no reason to diss Paul C. Buff. You know, and just because Paul C. Buff is not giving a specific YouTube photography channel like sponsorship or free gear, you know, that's no reason to, you know, months ago praise Paul C. Buff, but oh, now they're not giving me stuff, so I'm going to praise a Chinese knockoff. Yeah, this is the, oh Lord Jesus, that's, uh, it's just not right, you know. I may have a, uh, uh, an oddball personality or whatever you may think. It's an image from Benjamin Kenrick. But that's just not right. This is kind of an off-the-cuff off video. You, you probably realize that. I've uh, been upset a few times today for several reasons. So Anyway, Paul C. Buff, I know they sell only in the United States, but they are the best and by far the best value and by far the best customer service. And they've only greatly expanded in the past few years, not the inverse. So I don't like the dishonesty leveled against Paul C. Buff because it is undeserved in the extreme. Thanks for watching. Bye.